Hi guys, we got another toy review today. No figure reviews today. And uh, I finally got my Apple changer from Hyperlink Japan and my I'm gonna be a surprise on that one. Yes, I finally got it today from Hobby League Japan and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do the toy review today and uh, really happy. Um, you can still get it from uh, Hobby League Japan but it's back ordered unfortunately and uh, Abiyami is sold out. You can get it from CS Toys and uh, yeah. So here we go, here's the packaging and this is the, uh, the newest Ranger, the Tokyo 6 Ranger. I forgot his Japanese name because I'm not Japanese though. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, this is his uh, Henshin Smart Haho, also it means smartphone in English. Uh, Apple Changer, and also we got the the Six Ranger. Let me just go a bit closer on his uh, debut. Um, on the, on the other episodes that we that I saw, I mean, um, that he features in. Uh, so nice packaging. You can see him, and you can see this henshin smartphone Apple changer. Very nice. Just the picture. Don't want to go take it out. And you can see the build pressure. And it's got more Japanese text. I don't really know what it's saying, but it's saying that. Uh, then you got the Rush Sign the Tokyo Ranger logo on the top. It says Bandai. Side packaging. You can see he's holding it. Nice side packaging. And back packaging, it tells you what to do, how, it, how you use it. Such and forth, yada yada yada. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And bottom packaging, and uh, yeah, so that's 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 about it. Nice packaging, and really cool. So we're gonna take a little break, guys, and uh, see what we get, shall we? All right, guys. I took out the packaging, and this is how it looks like. Looking really nice, really cool. This thing looks cool, man. This looks wow. It looks, yeah, it actually looks like what well, it does look like an iPhone, but a smartphone, whatever you want to call it. But this thing, then, and when I open it, it was like that, so you have to close it like that. So, really cool, man. Wow, nice paint application. So, we're just gonna go to the paint application and talk about the build brusher. So it's got a nice silver paint application, as as we can see on the other sides, and then you can see these buttons. That's the the morphing sequence. That's the build brusher. So you press that, and the drill brusher, and you can call somebody. This one doesn't do anything, so yeah. Then it's got a bunch of uh, words. It says Tokyo 06. And it says 730. I don't know why. It says Upper Changer. And then you can see the battery power. It says number 6. And then we've got a nice orange background. Paint application. Really cool. And you can hear the speakers over here. I'm going to put on in a minute. And uh, once you uh, open it, you know, you can see the train tracks it's got a nice yellow application orange gray black orange more orange it's just yeah looks pretty decent so really cool there then we got the build rusher nice black application orange right gray green and silver it looks pretty cool um, the build rusher um, the megazord bit dial gonna come this week in Japan and Safari Russia. I already peeled mine so you should be getting my one the next couple weeks later. So I'll wait for a while to get this. So yeah so we're still on now. Enough blabbering. Turn it on. 
We'll put the set out. And uh, yeah, let's open it. Well, it makes that noise. So this way you open it, close it. Let's put the engine button on the transformation. Get that bridge rusher. Activate it. So pretty cool. And another thing I noticed, it doesn't recognize the the patterns. This one, can you see this one's got a design on it? This one doesn't have it. You could just do any one, any rushes. He can do it. So let's do it again. You see the button. That's how it reads it, so you just dash it like that. And it's not reading the other rushes. So I've got my other rusher. My red rusher, just for example. So I press the button again. Changed in it, so that's kind of disappointing. But so, so one more time. See, they even change. That's kind of disappointing. So we now we're gonna put his build rush on. Hey, big Russia. And then we got the Jew Russia. Um, I haven't um, uh, I packed my youth brain. It's right beside me, but I'll, I'll show you that later on. Um, then we got the. The call number, the call button, so you can call somebody. And this is how you turn it on, on and off. So you can, yeah. So just save battery cell life. So obviously you can see the button. So you can see more. Ooh, you can see me. Ooh. So that's the. The transformation, Bridge Russia button, Druid Russia uh, button, someone you can call. These other buttons I can't use this, so you can't use them. But it's like a recording camera, this one, we could say over here. Take pictures, other crap, check in your email, you can check the internet, the map location. I have no idea what's that. And I think that's checking out the wood, I don't know. And checking your battery. So if he wants to, uh, you know, talk to you six, the orange range he wants to check up. So yeah. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, kind of, um, kind of boring, but uh, that's how it is. But I will show one thing. I'm gonna take my. Um, Tokyo change it over here. I'll just show you the example. I have to use the build rush over here. So over there, it can read it when you do the hitching. Uh, the transformation morph so that's pretty cool so now I'm going to do the, the summoning for the Megazord
So it's got no problems. It's just the average changer. It's really it's kind of restricts you not using it. But also you can transform. Have a switch. Hold on. You can tra uh, transfer with your teammate, but in the other recent episode, you can't transfer with these other teammates, so it's kind of a kind of package, but he's a, obviously the six ranger, so yeah. Um, obviously, you can't put in the Megazord, there's no um, a peg hole, so you can't plug it in. So that's unfortunate. So in the build dial, Megazord comes this week in Japan. Um, I think that's gonna plug in. <laughs> so yeah. But nicely detailed though at the back. I already mentioned it already about the paint application though. But it does look nice. Uh, so I think I covered it that much now. Um yeah, that's about it. Um it's a cool looking toy. Obviously, um you're not gonna expect much from this, you know, it's just gonna use the build dial pressure, the build pressure, I mean, and the drill pressure. Uh, I'll show you the the drill pressure in a minute or later on when I do the unit breaker review. Um, so yeah, but it's it's a cool looking toy, but you're not gonna get much, like I said before. Um, you know, you just get a bunch of buttons, then you get that, and it doesn't recognize the other pressures, unfortunately. It's just gonna read this one. Because it's got this button here. So yeah, it's kind of pointless. But I think Bandai Japan went a bit cheap on this, so uh, and that's how it's on the shelf practically. So so yeah, well, it's a cool looking toy, you know. Um, everybody's pretty much you know gotten this now. And all the online websites, you know, I mean, I mean, CS Toys and probably in Japan, it's practically sold out. But people in Japan, people, especially kids over there, they will buy it if the parents can afford it. <laughs> so, yeah, um, but yeah, um, if you want to get it, if you like Rush Center Tokyo Ninja, why not go ahead, get it. Um, you know, so for the season's okay. Some of those are kind of suckage, but yeah, but it's not a crap toy. Um, it's kind of a decent toy. And when I first saw the, you know, the first transformation, I was kind of not really interested. But when you see the other episodes, it looks pretty decent. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Um, yeah, that's it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace. More to come. Sub, rate, comment, add, and share. And uh, thanks for watching, bitches. I'm out.